he just keeps summoning them. And I'm s yeah, this is gonna suck. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because if he summons these immediately, these things take forever to kill. Mind controlled? What is she doing? I've got this one. Oh, she's down. I mean, once he does that little teleport thing, I'm toast. Nothing I can do. I wish I would, you know, like shoot the one. She's down too. I'm down. I can't do anything when he does that. how to stop it from doing that little chain thing but uh it's almost a kill on my squishy people It is freaking late. I might have to just finish this on Friday. Gotcha. This is ri ridiculously a lot longer than I expected. Hoping we can get it this time. I told you to move. Understood. What are you doing? Oh my god, you stupid woman. I'm telling you to go attack that. Why won't you attack it? Are you mind controlled? But if you're mind controlled, why would your mind control tell you to. I 
in position. She's almost dead already. Pausing right here, what I don't know what this is, but it's kinda cool. Moving fast. She's gonna die. In position. I can't do a single thing about that. That's so yeah. irritating. Come on, I'm stunned. Uh. Down. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. all of your spells I can't cast anything with her something like keeping me from casting or what I can't do oh god this is gonna be so freaking hard doing so much worse on this one as than on the others can't kill these fast enough, so... I can't control her. Finally, get out of there. Oh, now she's down. Has to be a way to get through this because this is insanely ridiculous. What if we can just focus on him, not worry about anything else? Because trying to kill those things is not working. He summons them so stinking fast, and I can't kill them fast enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. On game. Quick. Boy. We're nearly done. Okay, so everybody, focus on I him. On 
duty. I can't you move. Are you mind controlled? I don't understand it. I can't control her. Oh, jeez. Oh, she, yeah, there must have been mind control or something because she's just casting all of her stuff. I have no choice. I don't know what she's casting because that healing beam is not an actual spell that I have on me. I don't know if I can even do this because... Yeah, I have to destroy these because he's, in, he's invulnerable, I think, with this. Tell what's going on. There's so much shit going on here. Easy. She's down. I can't do anything. They they take my spells from me. I'm down. Yeah, that can work. They take all my spells from me. So it just render, renders her useless. I can't heal. I can't cast. Nothing. I'm not understanding why it takes her spells. Is she like healing him? Is that what she... I don't... I don't know what's going on. I don't sew anything on me like a... Uh, Like I'm mind controlled or anything. I might have to just finish this tomorrow night. It's so freaking late. This is my last try tonight. So we have to kill those things first because it basically no, shields him. But she's garbage then because she can't cast anything. I think that is stupid how I can't do that. Another one. See, she's just, she casts. I can't control her, nothing. Why, why did you cast that? I'm taking you down. Got you. Yeah, that's positioning. What the, the hell is wrong? She's down immediately. Here I come. No, you. Oh my god, you people. I'm oh, telling you to attack wish. that. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Got them. Take that. She's 
she's down again. And I'm down. And she's down. I don't know how to do this. It said revives all people. Did they take her down immediately after she got back up? shit out. Why am I going in there? I'm not in the circle. Oh, see now shielded. Oh, I can't control me now. I wasn't standing in any of it. Oh, God. Cover me. I'm dead. Can I hurt him with this? What is this shield? I can't tell if his life's going down at all or not. with my tank. Yeah, they're just cat. I, I don't know if it's like a chaos for magic or stuff is just casting. I'm not casting any of this. She's down. Just my tank. I don't know how the fuck to do this. I really don't. I mean, look at everything going on here. There is... This place casts my own... It casts spells for me. So all my spells are garbage. anything once they cast it right on me only thing I can do is maybe this to get out of it and then a guy is dumb as hell and he runs right back into it I've got this one. Back. 
I'm taking you down. Get a bug? What the hell's going on here? I can't heal anybody because he's not going to get off of me. Out of my way. I don't think I'm hurting him. Roger. Am I? Yeah, a little bit. thing is ridiculous repositioning carry this <clears throat> I don't know what hurts him hell out of that before all this. Oh, why didn't I get out of that? Carry this. Ouch. I'm taking you down. Oh shit, I was not in that. Why does <laughs> the guy with the deepest voice sounds like a woman at the time? Nah, I can't do anything about that. I don't have enough mana points. I had enough. Cast it for me. Out of my way.
What did you cast? You just cast it for me. I didn't even click on anything. God, it drives me nuts when you do that. I'm taking you down. Just casting for me. Weird. I'm taking you. It just, yeah, it just casts heal for me. I don't understand it. like the same sliver of life the entire time. There we go. Some. Out of my way. What the Alright. This is it. No more obstacles. We end it now. Just as I feared. The forces of chaos are breaking through our ranks. Our numbers were too few to hold them back. We can't spare any more time. Quickly, Malachi, use the reality anchor. If we hurry... Don't sweat it. You do your thing. I'll hold them back. We will hold them back. Well, not like there's anything else for us to do now anyway, right? Thank you. It won't take long. All right, I... This is it. We're going to follow the plan. John can finally be at peace again. How are you feeling, Malachi? The anchor has to properly settle first, but you should. I'm actually feeling no different than before. Are you sure it worked? Yes, without a doubt. The binding was successful. So, what now? The immediate threat is gone. How is Kayla doing? She's safe. Soon you will be able to talk to her without me interrupting the flow. Finally. Uh, no offense. Uh, I just really can't wait for all this to be over. None taken. I have other matters to attend to now, and I'm glad to know I'm leaving Jean in very capable hands. Wait, you're leaving? For good? As soon as I can form a physical body, yes. You should be a stable vessel for the Organte by that time. Oh, all right. I, uh... Okay, should we... Collect your friends? 
Definitely. Let's get out of here. Yes, please. I'm a bit tired of playing the hero, you know. I thought it had become your second nature by now. Kayla. <laughs> As the Organtha is bound once more to its eternal prison, it is made evident that the world will never be truly safe from its influence. The Oracle stays for a time, hoping to mend the ripples caused in her absence. But her time is of the essence. Once she's able to take a physical form and leave Kayla's body, she departs as she foretold, leaving the people of John to carve their own path through this uncertain future. In the absence of the Emperor, new leaders emerge to guide humanity. Recognized as a hero of the campaign against the Chained One, Malachi quickly rises to prominence. Following his parents' footsteps, he becomes an influential figurehead, leading the change into a more democratic society. Soon, from the ashes of the once great empire, the human republic is born. Malachi is as fearless on the political stage as he is on the battlefield. He knows that the safety of the Republic comes first, even if it means sacrificing freedom. He will stop at nothing to protect his people, no matter how controversial his methods may be. Under Kayla's leadership, the Claw is reborn. To ensure John's safety, the Order employs extreme scrutiny and surveillance. Anyone carrying the slightest hint of Organtha's corruption is mercilessly eliminated, regardless of their station. Jeez. Knowing that the Organtha's kind is still a looming threat, the people of John are forced to look past their differences and beyond the horizon. Eventually, the world has been brought together under a single banner in no small part, thanks to Malachi's efforts. Some who would not join willingly needed to be convinced with force. But after a period of turmoil, chaos is replaced with new order. However, the Chained One wasted no time in its efforts to escape the Dark Boar. Using its weakened power, it continued to tempt the wretched of the world but its attempts were constantly cut short by Malachi and Kayla's zealous surveillance. Certain personal freedoms had to be sacrificed, but at least the people knew that the Claw watches over them, ever vigilant. In the wake of Organtha's fall, the Empire's remaining officials bore the weight of their abstention from the final battle. Their power was swiftly stripped away as the country transitioned into a republic. The Imperial Era, now a somber reminder of humanity's darkest hour, stands as an indelible stain upon the annals of history. Through their pivotal role in bringing down the Chained One and its hordes, the League ascended as a dominant force and a beacon of hope. As the world seeks to restore harmony and embrace its arcane roots, the resurgent sway of magic takes precedence over technology. After spearheading the offensive against an unprecedented crisis, the city of Free Phoenicia eagerly clings to the reputation of the world's saviors, deftly glossing over their own machinations. In the aftermath of the war, the Merchants Guild uses this influence to ensure that both sides seek their support and recovery. The Free City champions a harmonious embrace of both technology and magic, so long as it is duly taxed and patented. <laughs> of course. Joe Manna continues his crusade against any remnants of the Organthus hybrids but his name no longer carries the significance it used to. The Blue Hand soon fractures, splitting into small raider factions determined to carve their own path. The City of Bone suffered heavy damage in the assault orchestrated by the Claw. 
However, thanks to Malachi and Kayla's efforts to fortify it, none of the destruction proved to be irreparable. Emerging from the ashes, the City of Bones rises with renewed strength and fortitude. The one thing that was irreversibly lost in all the hardship was the city's spirit. Faced with adversity, its citizens learned that to survive, they must cut corners where possible, even at the cost of others. After all, the law is nothing but a set of rules made by the strong to control the weak. What started as nothing but a group of misfits turned into a team shaped by the perils they faced together and prevailed. The crew led by Malachi and Kayla comes out victorious from their battle against immeasurable odds, an experience that will change their lives forever. In the desperate moment right before Malachi and the Oracle decided the Organtha's fate, Benedict led the charge against overwhelming forces of the Chained One and gave his life to protect his companions. He died a warrior's death and never got to see how much the world has changed thanks to his sacrifice. Vaso reunites with surviving members of her old squad, hoping to make amends for her past. She puts them in contact with Hallis, whose expanding operation is always in need of skilled and dependable agents. Many of them take her up on the offer, glad to use their I didn't skills expect to have for this a much at the end. rather than in service of a country that denounced them. Cestia hands Malachi a hefty bill for her services and leaves as soon as she cashes it. She earns a considerable reputation among Free Phoenicia's mercenaries. Leon departs to deal with some unfinished business. Asked for details, he mumbles something under his breath as if he finds it hard to discuss. Kim decides she's had enough adventuring for a lifetime and returns home to take care of her family. As years pass, Malachi, bound by the magic of the reality anchor, doesn't age a day. Keeping the Chained One contained proves to be a larger burden with each passing year, slowly but surely corrupting his mind and body. Together with the Oracle, Kayla finds a way to transfer the Chained One's curse onto herself, but it is already too late. As she takes on Malachi's burden, she realizes that her brother is gone. She puts him out of his misery, making sure to keep his downfall a secret so that he can live on as a hero in his people's memory. So absorbing it was not a good idea. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the game. A few things that are weird. Maybe at the end we were supposed to be casting our own. I didn't get that. <laughs> that was a little annoying. Um, but yeah, so I did enjoy this. Man, it's, it's really late too. So, I'm going to get off. Uh, but, tomorrow night stream, same time, 8pm Central Standard Time, demo day. What we're going to do. So I'd just like to thank you all for spending some time here. If you enjoyed this, give that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. Or if you're on Twitch, give me a follow or subscribe. I'll see you all next time.